Yes, no more international football for more than four months. Get out of it. Come back club football with a vengeance. Loads of games coming up. And on Racine this week, a bit of a twist. Something new with Set Lee Parker, a challenge. Yes, a new featured challenge, Parker. That, plus all of this too. OK, we've... Uh... We've set a challenge here for Lee Parker. We told him we're going to call him and he better have someone on FaceTime. He better not have let us down. Who have you got, Parker man? Would I ever let you down? Afternoon, chaps. Um, it's late training here, so there are not too many people around, but thankfully I found someone... Have that... you passed the test? Oh, all right. Have you passed the you test? tell me how oh, to pass oh, hello. 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 Look the test. That. Hello, Alvaro. Hello. Look where we are. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good place, what? nice place. What did you do, what did you do over there against Man United? Ah, good goal, but this is the past. I need to make more. Can you ask Jason about his celebration after your goal? Yeah, I see you on on, on the social media. Yeah, yeah. I went a bit crazy. It, it was worth it. <laughs> How was Spain? Yeah, yeah, good. Everything okay. We play. Too much to prepare the World Cup and it's good. Everything okay. And you scored without Aspie setting you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for once. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but but it's good uh, making goals and and now I I hope uh, in these days Aspie have time to think the next one. Now, Alvaro, we're coming into December very shortly. It's going to get very cold. How prepared are you for an English winter? So, have you got a onesie? And, 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 have you got a onesie? It's kind of like pyjamas, but it's all in one. Ah. You have you like trousers and a jumper. To yeah, keep yeah. On. It's the sort of thing Candy would wear. Yeah, I've got he three. Does. He does, he does. Um, no, 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 no. I have, I have one normal pyjama. Now that Christmas is coming, how different is this Christmas going to be? I mean, you just heard Ben mention that. What do you do on Christmas Day? We, we make the... The classic food of, from Spain, and we feel like in Spain. Do you like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> what? Brus little small cabbages. They have them, a traditional English. Okay. okay. Well, and on this year I try. <laughs> cool. Good luck at the Hawthorns. It's a special place for Chelsea, Thank a you. very special place. Score more goals yeah. like that one over there. Yeah. Bye bye, Alvaro. Bye. bye. Thank you. Well done, Parker. Well done, Excellent Parker. Work. Challenge passed. Also from the training ground, he's changed his hair again. He has. So blue isn't the colour. Blue is not the colour. Blue color. is not the colour. Callum Hudson-Odoi has been joining him with training. Just 17, literally, but in with the first team. An England World Cup winner, of course, with the under-17s, and we'll have more on them. Who did better out of the Brazilians here that weren't selected for Brazil? David Luiz here, that's, that's nice. Marking is atrocious. Offside. Nice, nice technical ability. He's offside as Miles well. Miles offside. But Kennedy here, I mean, again, they could get closer. That's nice. Look, he doesn't even move, will he? Nice chest. Yeah, I think Kennedy just edges it. Nice shooting. Right. Kante, also there. From the men to the ladies, live on Chelsea TV, they beat Rosengard 1-0 in the second leg of the last 16. Jace having done the job really in the first leg, 3-0. Yes. Into the last eight, club history, never before in the yeah, Chelsea Yeah, congratulations ladies. to Emma and all the girls. You know, the, the job was done at home, of course, in that 3-0 victory, getting the, the first goal in that particular tie away, meant that they had to score one, two, three. Yeah, four goals in just a tie, five to go through, so it weren't going to happen. Onwards and upwards to social media and Russia 2018. Well done, Andreas Christensen. Bad luck fans of the Irish. Andreas playing a big part, Jason. And in the dressing room, a bit of this via yeah. Nicholas Bentner's That's, Instagram. By the way, the size of his bottle. He played really well in the second leg. Denmark were outstanding in the second half. Mm. Um, completely uh, overrun the Irish. Congratulations to Andreas and the rest of those boys. But commiserations, as you said there, to Irish fans. Now. Jody Morris, we've shown you before on this programme that uh, he's still got it. 
Well, he's definitely still got it. He posted this. We well, need to buy a bit of room. Buy a little bit of space and time, yeah. Yep. Next Ooh, one. Good players. Uh, the next one, Nutmegs. See you later. It does go through his legs, and uh, Jody will make sure that you see it twice because he's rewound it. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Really rubbing his nose in that and one. And then the shot. Hater's going to say deflection. Well, do you know what, Jode? It does take a deflection. It's a hell of a strike, but it does take a little bit of a nick. Very good, though. Uh, he also posted this. <laughs> good luck in the jungle, yeah. Dennis Wise. Um, but yeah. What, what was he thinking? Looking forward to seeing Wisey in the jungle. Um, nicknamed the rat, as, uh, as we've just seen Jody there as well. So we to see if he eats any rats. Right. Back to those under-17 World Cuppers now. Five Chelsea boys, four of them were starting regularly, and Connor off the bench too, and they brought their medals in. Have a look at this. You, you didn't realise how big it was until you got there, and then you saw the people, the cameras in your face, and then that, that's when you realise, like, yeah, this, this is big. <laughs> It was obviously my, my first uh, call-up for England. Obviously, having four other Chelsea boys, it, it helped me a lot. Obviously, we're all good friends. We've been with each other for a while now. They're like uh, brothers, really. You've known them for, for, for a long time, so uh, when, you're, when you're with them, I think it's uh, boosts your confidence a lot, yeah. And you can see all of that feature online. Congratulations to them again. Brilliant work, which brings us neatly on to... Game of love. Tammy Abraham and Ruben Loftus-Cheek, England seniors, and not just played, played well. Played really well. Um, Ruben was outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Played more centrally, played higher up the pitch than he has been uh, for Crystal Palace. And now there's hysteria about him. Well, oh, what do we, we have to pin everything on him now all of a sudden. Well, do you know what? We don't get that many players that can put in those sort of performances, you know. Tammy had a really, really good period in the game. He'd done the hard things well, I felt. His hold-up play was really good. And then it was his choice of pass, selection of pass, his weight of pass, that perhaps let him down a little bit. But congratulations to the player. And by the way, congratulations to Chelsea's academy here. No less than five Chelsea players played that come from our academy. Jack Cork, congratulations to you. He made his, uh, his, his England debut. Don Solanke, Ryan Birch, and of course we mentioned Ruben and Tammy. So well done, you guys. Very impressive. Trivia disputes. We showed you Didier Drogba's first Chelsea hat-trick against Watford because it was part of an On This Day feature. We asked you what, Jason? What did we ask? We asked what was his last hat-trick playing for Chelsea. And the answer is West Bromwich Albion. Out here, first day of the season, Robert de Mateo was sitting on the bench for West Brom. 6-0 is the victory indeed. And Didier Drogba got his last hat-trick for Chelsea. Of course, we played West Brom this week. You do indeed. Well done to Daikal, Ryan and Matthew. Again, Matthew Strange, by the way, has been a correct answerist on this programme before. Uh, so another shout out to him, because he, he liked it last time he got a shout out. This week's question is? So, after we won the title in 15, we went to the Hawthorns and got beaten, but there was a Chelsea player that got a red card. Who was it and why? Give your answers in down here, and we'll read out the best answers we can. So, as for this weekend's trip to the mm. Hawthorns, Away there, away Carabag, away Anfield. Mm. Big week. Yes, indeed. Um, I think you have to take each game as it comes. I mean, that's a bit of a cliche, but good, good you know, yeah. Things. But he, I think I don't think you can look at Carabag. I don't think you can really look at Liverpool just yet. West Brom and Jalbury in the way. They're having a tough time at the moment. Mm. They've got us and they've got Spurs. Two big games for them. Tony Pulis is under real pressure. The owners have flown in. Um, so they're looking at him. They're in a bad run, really bad run. This is a game we can go and win, but I, I seem to remember that's about the Hawthorns. We've got a real mixed bag of either really good results mm. and really bad results. We're after another good one after what happened last year as well, don't forget. You can't forget. This happened. So Eden Hazard, though, is the subject of our bet for that game this week. Enhanced odds from our betting partner, William Hill. Five to two for him to score in a Chelsea win. Why not? Let's hope it's another Blues win. See you next time. We won the league uh, against West Bromwich, and uh, I, rem I remember very well uh, that moment. But uh, now we have to think to the present. And this game uh, will be very, very tough for, for us. And now to make it two, and 
he rolls it into the net. West Brom's resistance is broken from Nicolas Anelka, who's absolutely on fire at the moment. Oh, beautiful from Zola. Fabulous goal. Pulled back by Philip Quetter. 